Hello, in this class we are going to meet another very important property of the gallery, that's the is selected property. In order to understand better, let me give you the example right here in our gallery. And you can do the same following the instructions. Let's click in any of those elements inside our template of the gallery and insert a new label. So we have here insert text label and we got a new label here. I will just resize it and move here to the right. And instead of this item dot comment, I'm going to put the this item dot is selected. This is selected is not a property from our data set, but in something that's inside it's generated from the gallery. It means what's the item that is selected in that gallery. If we play the app, we can see that the first item of the gallery shows true and the others show false. But if I click in any of those items, for example, Bruce Banner, it will change to true and the first one that was true before now it's false. This video is sponsored by the support of my subscribers who like and comment on the videos. This class is part of a full course I have on Udemy where I teach beginners how to build their first apps. So if you want to ensure lifetime access and see the entire course, I suggest you to join me on Udemy. If the course isn't for you, that's okay, but I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video and subscribe to this channel. Your engagement means a lot to me and motivates me to continue creating valuable content like this. Now let's get back to the class and continue learning together. So we can see that there is only one true in all the gallery, in the entire gallery, because there is only one item that can be selected at a time. Okay, so what can we do with this? With this information, we can highlight this item in the gallery and show that this item is selected. And in the future, based on the selected item, we are going to show information in the app for that item that's selected. Imagine here that I could select, for example, Peter Parker and in the parts and in the bottom of the app, I could show some text only for Peter Parker. So for example, edit Peter Parker information. And in the moment, as I click on Tony Stark, it will show some information for Tony Stark only. We could have a list of items, click in one of those in order to see more details for that specific item. And that's why we need to know which item is selected. Okay. So in the, in the next class, we are going to see how to highlight the selected item based on this information. If you don't know very well what are booleans, by booleans I mean the true and false data type, that's one data type inside Power Apps. And if you don't know the if function, that's one function to do to test conditions, I will leave two recommendations for the next two classes. You can watch or you can skip. Those are videos on my YouTube channel that, that I've recorded because I knew we are going to use in this course. And I think that they can help a lot if you are a very beginner with logic. So you can watch them or you can just skip and continue to the next class where we are going to highlight these items based on this information. So, see you in the next class.